Hello. I wanted to do a quick video of our solar setup for our new 2023 Intech Soul Horizon. This will be a high level overview of just the things we put in, not necessarily a how to video. We started with two 144 watt, 16.8 volt Nishadi Endurance Rigid Solar Panels. The panels are mounted on heavy duty tilt brackets with a custom made quick release pin setup for fast and easy tilt action. Oh yeah. I settled on mounting the solar panels to L-Track or Airline Track for its strength and versatility. Each rail is attached with 3M VHB tape and then attached into the roof frame with a few self-drilling screws. Adding in a few quick release ring studs allowed me to run a safety cable from both panels through the rings attached to the center track. Everything of course is sealed and slathered with Cicaflex 221 sealant. For some added peace of mind and some aerodynamics, we put a wind deflector in front of the solar panels. We used a galvanized steel rain diverter from Lowe's. I rebent the angle, drilled some holes, primered and painted it white. Victron recommended having the panels rated at 17 or higher volts, so I set them up in series. This gives me around 288 watts at 32 volts. The panel cables run through the roof and in behind the microwave. I installed a bus bar for panels to connect to for any future changes or reconfigurations. The external panel wires attach here as well, but I can't add any portable panels with the roof panels being set in series. But it's quick and easy to switch everything to parallel configuration if I do need to add more panels later. From the bus bar, all solar panels have their own breaker switch and then feed into the Victron charge controller. The solar panels charge four 100 amp hour Battleborn batteries. The batteries have their own isolation switch to ensure nothing charges or drains them when the trailer has been winterized. The batteries feed into the Lynx distributor, then out to several components. First, to the original isolation switch and the 12-volt side of the distribution box, which powers all of the trailer's 12-volt components, like the lights, electric tongue jack, stereo, and 12-volt outlets. Secondly, to the inverter, which powers the AC side of the distribution box powering the 120 volt AC components like the TV, air conditioner, and microwave. Both of these can run simultaneously off battery power for several hours or days depending on what's being powered. Our inverter also acts as a transfer switch, so we rerouted the trailer's 30 amp shore power into the inverter. This means that if we're running on solar and batteries and plug into shore power, the system will automatically switch over to shore power. The inverter on shore power will also charge the batteries. We installed the battery monitoring unit into the cabinets next to the stereo, but each component can be accessed through the Victron app to see inputs and outputs and history. The inverter and charge controller are in a small sealed space, so I really wanted to have a temperature sensor that will trigger exhaust fans. One fan moves outside air in, and one moves cabin air out through the existing battery vent to pull whatever air is less humid into the cabin. Both fans run into a manual switch so we can easily change which direction the air is going. This was a bit of an experiment and we've realized that one fan is very, very quiet and one fan is not. I installed two switches by mistake, not realizing I can send both fans to one switch. We haven't figured out what to use the other switch for, but we have some ideas. So that's our setup. I'm sure we'll tweak and change things as we go, but for now, we're just looking forward to getting out there and using it. <laughs>